homestead if you are new here and I just want to say a great big thank you if you are one of my new subscribers and my old subscribers I had set a goal to reach 1600 subscribers by the end of this month August I reached it today so I I know I say this all the time and it may be cliche or whatever but I I, I cannot say thank you enough um, for you all choosing to subscribe to my channel and watch my videos because there's so many amazing channels out there to watch and that you you put me in that category to watch you know to choose to watch i am intensely intensely immensely rather immensely grateful and thankful and i'm so excited and my major goal is to get 2000 by the end of december december 31st and i believe i just might do it so um thank you so much i i've been working hard i'm going to be honest i have been working very hard to um help my channel grow um especially this summer so Thank you so much. I am just so, so grateful. I really am. Like, it's amazing. So, now that that's out of the way, today is day nine, as I said. And I don't know about you, but I have a lot of cranberries that were still in my freezer. So, this ended up being uh, 12 ounces plus another 12, I think. So, roughly 24 ounces, I think I have. I threw away my bags already, so I can't remember. But um, I already have lots of cranberry sauce canned up. Um, I'm kind of the only one who eats it, so it tends to last us a while. Um, so I didn't want to make more cranberry sauce. I tried cranberry juice last year, and it is insanely sour. I still have a few jars of the cranberry in there. I keep them because the cranberries are great to throw into muffins or whatever you're going to use with the fall and, you know, the cranberry season coming. Um, so... I'm gonna make cranberry juice again, but this time we're gonna um, sweeten it with some honey. Because I do like cranberry juice. Um, but the one I usually get is sweetened with some grape, um, grape juice, white grape juice. But cranberry cocktail and all that has so much corn syrup and all that, so that's not something I wanna be drinking. Um, I want the cranberry juice for the health benefits, which is you know, very, very beneficial, especially for ladies. Um, so we're going to make some, and my husband actually doesn't mind it, but he needs it sweetened. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make, I have eight quart jars warming up in the oven, wide mouth jars, because I am using a few more than the recipes I've been looking up. So we're going to hope to get eight. Um, I'm also going to be using, this is organic honey. Um, it's a USAD honey actually, and it's non-GMO and it's organic. Um, just because I don't want to use my local honey I use for my tea every day because that helps me with my allergies. And uh, this is a good way to use up this one. And yeah, it couldn't be easier. Like this is one of the easiest things I will probably make during the Every Bit Counts Challenge this month. So let's get to it. Okay, so my jars are out of the oven and they're warm. They're not hot by any means. And we're going to fill each jar. So fill this up. Probably about that much, which is, I'm gonna do a little more. A little bit more than half is what we're looking for. Okay, and that's it. So I have my kettle boiling, and I have a big, and I have a pot of water boiling too, just in case, because I know my kettle is probably not gonna be enough to uh, pour over these. And you can use sugar too to sweeten this. You certainly don't have to use the honey. Um, you could do maple syrup too if you wanted. But I'm trying to make it as healthy as I can. Even though we use organic cane sugar, it's still sugar. Honey is certainly a better, <laughs> better alternative. Right, so that's one 12 ounce. My water bath can are going because obviously this is hot acid. So we don't have to pressure can. And I'm going to pour a quarter cup of honey into each jar. You can go up to about half a cup. 
Um, I'm going to try and go with, a, a, you know, we'll see. I hope a quarter cup is enough. But it needs to be at least a quarter for this to sit and um, permeate and really get concentrated. So you're going to want uh, at least a quarter cup. sitting for 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes. I've been busy doing other things once they were done processing. And then we'll just let them sit here for 24 hours, check the seals, wipe them all down. And there is eight, right Grace? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight jars of cranberry juice to go on our pantry shelves. And that is it for day nine. We'll see you back here tomorrow for day 10.